And today I want to talk about anointing and the anointed. I want to talk about anointing and the anointed. I'm taking my text from Luke 4, 18 and Acts 10, 38. Luke 4, 18 and Acts 4, and Acts 10, 38. He said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Sorry, he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. As 10.38, put it up. I don't want to quote it offhand. How God anointed Jesus. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing. Or that we are oppressed of the devil for God is with him. If you notice in these two scriptures I read, the first one said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. The other one I read, say how God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with what? Power. You saw the anointed there. Okay, let me show you anointing. Give me, let me use scripture, you know, give me Psalm 10 verse 27. Is it 10, 27 now? Isaiah 10, 27 is what I mean. You should know that's what I mean. Am I really correct? Yes. And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of who? The anointing. So I want to talk about anointing and the anointed. I'm going to show you how this thing works so that you will benefit properly. Some of us don't understand these two things. Some of us think they are the same. Some of us know they are not the same. But I want to show you how it works by, pro- prophet- by, by prophetic utterance so that you learn to receive the blessings of God. Thank you, God, for giving me a mouth and a wisdom that all my adversaries cannot be able to gain sin or resist. Thank you, Father, so shall every word be that shall proceed out from my mouth. They cannot return back to me for it, but they must accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing where to I sent it. Thank you for giving me utterance, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God, let your word, oh God, break chains in their life. Let your word destroy limitation in their spirit. Let your word, oh God, give the grant them spiritual understanding. Open their ears to hear me. In Jesus' name. Okay, I talked about the anointing and I talked about the anointed. And we said anointing. When we say anointing, what does it mean? When we say anointing, what, do we, what, what are we talking about? To anoint. Okay, let me use the word to anoint or anointing. Let me use the word. And the word, you get the word anoint from anointing. What does it mean? It's by applying oil. I will, I, will, I will go prophetic, but let me explain something. It's by applying oil, paint, or cutters, or as to rub with oil, or to smear oil on something. So to anoint is to put oil. I need, let me have this oil, me. This is anointing. This is the oil inside is called. So come and help me clean this thing. It's called what? Oil. Clean the body. It's called what? Oil. It's oil that is inside. So clean it more. It's oil that is inside. Is it not so? So to apply it. To apply it. On something, when I drop it on something, I'm anointing that thing. Did you get it? If I drop it on something, okay, who will I call now? Mommy, come. Come. I'm anointing her now. This is oil. What am I doing? I've anointed her. The spirit of one, anytime you anoint somebody, you pour somebody an oil, the anointing enters inside the person. Did you get it? 
I'll be showing you something. Wait, I'm coming. I want to establish some fact before I take off. So when we say anointing oil, the Bible says, help mommy. The Bible says in Exodus 29, verse 7 and 9. Let me have it. Anointing oil. Anointing oil. Exodus 29, 7 and 9. He said, then shall thou take the, oil, the anointing oil. You saw it, oil. And pour it upon the head and anoint him or her. Okay, give me verse 9. And thou shalt give them with Giddus, Aaron and his son, and put on the banner, that is hair, this thing. And the priest's office shall be theirs for a perpetual status, and thou shalt consecrate Aaron and his son. So, anointing oil, what does it do? The purpose of anointing oil is to consecrate somebody. It's to what? To consecrate somebody or something. If, for instance, now, is everybody seeing me now? I want to do something now. The reason I'm teaching you this is so that some of you, I like what I teach you, practice. Eh? Anoint this place in the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I command by this anointing, I consecrate here for wealth and prosperity. My son, come and stand here. Stand where anoint run. Spirit of prosperity. Anyone that's stepping here, overtake the person. Stand. Okay. What, which any other person? Catch you come. You, you will hear their testimonies. Enter the circle. And enter here. Spirit of prosperity. Are you seeing what I'm telling you? That anywhere. Anything that is what it means to consecrate. I have consecrated this place. If they stand here, now this thing will not happen. If they stand there, it will not happen. It will not stand there. Once any person I say enter, or yeah, Eric, so you know whether I'm um, is arranging. Enter spirit of prosperity, financial prosper, all around prosperity. Enter them. Did you see that? You see what is happening? I will tell you what is happening to them. Is it okay? Why are you people laughing? Why are you people laughing? Okay, son. Enter there. You will see the testimony of this man now from today. You will hear people calling them doors opening. As long as I have circled that place and say any person that let the spirit of prosperity, prosperity me, financial prosperity, job prosperity, are you getting me? Praise the Lord. Okay, you are doing all straight for me. Okay, you can enter if you want. Are you getting what I'm trying to teach you? Are you getting, concentrate on what I'm teaching you. Concentrate on what I'm teaching you. Are you getting what I'm teaching you? Once, once you pour it on a thing, for instance, now you're trying to build a house, the house, you can't, nothing, you've done everything. Look as if the more you're building, look as if money, you are chasing money. Gary anointing all you to go and meet your pastor. Tell your pastor, pray on it. Go to that land, what you want to say. Drop. Once you say it, you've consecrated that land. I will tell you what it means. Are you listening? Go oh, how? Make any person no enter again. <laughs> Two of them. May, 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 may. Nobody enter there again. All of you should not follow joke apart. Nobody should step in there. Okay. She's just drunk of it. That is the issue. That means there's something that be resisting this woman from going forward. That's what is happening there. Is that okay? Now, are you listening to what I'm teaching you? I like teaching you to know so that anywhere you are, you know what to do. You don't use Christianity to manipulate people. You say, make them disciples. Is that okay? Disciples mean what he has taught me. I should teach you. What I have taught you, you should teach another person. In so doing, wherever we, all of us will be, principal what? Principality. 
Is that okay? So I said to consecrate means to dedicate. It means to devote. It means to ordain. It means to set apart. You see, I have set that place apart. Are you getting me? I've set that place apart as a sacred place, as a sacred thing to be what? Used. And any time you consecrate a place by the oil and as the spirit of the spirit of God enters there. Are you getting what I'm saying? That is the issue. If I get water now, okay, give me water. This is water now. And now as spirit of the living God, I tell him possess this water. It can, if you do with the same thing that happened to happen now, will happen. Once I say spirit of God possess this water, spirit of the living God possess this water. As I sprinkle this water on them, Lord, whatever that stands as a resistance in their life, no, no, not everywhere they see that are lie. I want to feel this because of time, please. I'm teaching now. As I release this word on them, whatever that stands as resistance in their life, I command in the name of Jesus Christ, let the water crush it. Look at that roving camera. Tell me what you did. What you did for them? Eric, please do something for me. Take. Did you get it? By this blood, whatsoever that is resisting breakthrough in your family, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, now, now, Face, please help me with that camera. What I said, anything that is resisting, the blood will take care of it. So that is what anytime, anywhere the anointing touches, anywhere you drop the anointing, the spirit of God possesses that thing. Are you getting me? It's like you hand over. That is the reason we dedicate our children. Some of you have seen some children they brought here that deform. I will finish. I will not ask where did they dedicate. You heard me say this. I will rededicate. The, I will, God will heal the child and I will rededicate the child to a genuine altar. You see, the whole plague sees. Why? That child was not given to any God. So any spirit entered and did what? If you know they don't dedicate, you go meet your pastor. Say, Pastor, my mama know they dedicate me a bag. Now me buy yam, now me buy chicken, now me buy things. If you don't have anything to buy, even if it's drink and water, please dedicate me. Because in the law of dedication, anytime you are dedicated, something has to be given to the altar. Is that okay? That is how dedication is ascribed. I'm going to preach, but I want to show you. So have I showed you what anointing means? I told you anointing, what it means. So there is a spirit that carries the power of God to function the mind, the will, the plan of God concerning man in us. When this oil is poured on you, the spirit of God carrying the ability to execute what has been spoken will enter you. Once that spirit enters you, it's what we call the anointing. Then the person that spirit enters is what we call the anointed. I can do some things not because I'm finer than you. I can do some things not because I'm, I don't know whether, whether I pray more than you, but because the anointing lives in me. Did you get it now? And because the anointing lives in me, by the anointing they pour it on my head, he enters. And the anointing lives in everybody for specific assignment. The day he entered me, I, I was mm, almost money tonight. I was calling on the ground. 
And by the time I woke up and other, he said, the spirit that lives in you is a spirit of healing, miracle, and all around open doors. He said, it's good we tell you who we are. He said, I'm the one, as long as miracle is consigned, the person have toy all and nothing was. He said, if you speak, we will honor it. The person is crooked. You speak, we'll, we'll, the person is deformed. If you speak, we'll, we'll readjust the person's system. So, you should know the anointing that is at work in you. Anointing that is, we told me, the anointing that is in you is a mechanic anointing. I said, what do you mean mechanic? He said, you are called to repair what was damaged. That is what he told me. And if you notice some cases, they brought, if Jacob here, Jacob would have brought the testimony of the brother. When they brought him, liver, kidney, everything, they, they, they abandoned him, waiting for fly, was perching on him on hospital. And the sister came to do her, and they said, what are you, bring her, bring her to, bring her to Pastor Beverly. I've seen worse cases, Savior. That's how Pastor Jacob came to this ministry. And I remember the brother with Matt, he was lying behind the old church, behind. And God told me, if you touch that guy, I'm not God. Tell him to get up. They are busy explaining, we carried him for months, he can... I quite they are still arguing, get, explaining he cannot go and tell her he can't get up. He's with that package him to bring. The guy got up and started coming. Why people argue and talk? He's walking. That's how he walked and came here and was vibrating. God said, lay hand, and, I think lay hand of breath on him. And I said, take him back to hospital. Any drip they need to give him, let them give him now for the whole plague is, has ended. That is what brought Pastor Jacob to what a life. He said, let me go and see that God that will carry my brother. I don't like mentioning churches everywhere. My brother was not here. And it's not this place. That is how the family started worshiping here. So he told me the grace I put in you is mechanic. I know why I'm explaining this thing. Today we're appreciating grace. That is my grace. Something that is damaged, that cannot be repaired. That is my grace. Anything that is rotten, forsaken, rejected, useless, is, there is no hope. Hopeless cases, bring them here. That is where my grace work. You had my daughter when she testified that she, you know, having a mental issue. She realized, take me to, I don't know that she, I know that is a testimony. She said, take me or she or I, tell them to bring her. And she came. I breath on her. And that is how the plague of that mad madness did what? Left. Did you get what I'm trying to explain? The anointing to do this thing is inside of me. And because of it, I'm called the anointed. Did you get what I'm teaching you? Now, let me show you an example of the arts of the anointing. Let me preach now. I think I've talked for 50, almost 15 minutes. Let me preach now. Now, let me show you the arts of the anointing when it's inside of you. When it's inside of you, begin to perform impossible tasks through you. It's no more you, but God. That very time I see, sure you see we've drawn this circle, we've left. After service, enter there and see whether you'll be able to stand. You can't. As long as I've drawn that thing. I'm the anointed. And the anointing, I've asked him to enter. He's there now. If any person, as long as I have the gift of healing, gift of working miracles, I left. If Pastor Chibi says, stand here and tell the blind to see, the blind will see. Did you get it? Because the spirit, the, what the spirit does, in any place that that spirit dwells all, always, it creates an atmosphere. Anyone that places a demand on that anointing, not even or, or, or even the anointed, the spirit begin to respond. Do you get what I'm saying? For instance, it's my hanky. I carry my hanky and give you. Anything you use my hanky to say, it will happen. Because I use this, it, it touch my body. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now the acts of the anointing, we saw in, for instance, in Saul, in First Samuel, in First Samuel chapter 10, when Samuel, the anointed, when somewhere the prophet, sorry, anointed Saul, we saw something happen. Number one, we saw the spirit of the Lord did what came upon him. True or false? 
Yes, and he was turned to another man. So anytime the anointing come upon you, you know, first thing is that the spirit of the Lord come upon you and change you. I'm talking of first Samuel chapter 10, I think one to, I'm just taking one to seven, one to six. Is that okay? When the anointing came upon him, the, 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 Samuel said, um, first Samuel, it's first Samuel I'm talking about. Okay. And he said unto him, I've made you. He said, the Lord has made you by the anointed. He said, he said, he said no, it's not because the Lord has anointed thee to be captain over his host, over his inheritance. So once the anointing starts operating upon you, you start ruling. You rule demons in your spirit. You rule powers that was ruling. You ruling means everything come under your control. You are no more under. Now you are above them. If you tell them go, they go. If they don't go, it's because you never said a word. You get it. Another thing we noticed that happened to Saul. Immediately he was anointed. He experienced what? Restoration and good news. They told him that the axe that was lost has been what? Fine. Once the anointing starts operating, you good news will be around you. Restoration will begin to work in your life. The next thing we notice Saul, notice. I just like to use Saul as a case study is that you start meeting the right people at the right time. They told him, you met some people, they will give you gifts. Are you getting me? Hands you know, hands you do not know will begin to show you kindness. That is how your anointing operates. If it's at work, you, you, maybe your own, you're anointed for ministry. Some people are anointed for wealth. Some people are anointed for what? For wealth. Tell that my son, two of you. I mean, let us say two of, two of you come. Two of them. Here. Yeah. Some people are anointed for what? Some people are anointed for what? Father, I decree in the name of Jesus by this oil. Receive the power to make wealth. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Receive power to make wealth. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. By this oil, wealth, money, in every currency you desire. Doors open. Whatever that will bring wealth, wealth is greater than riches. Wealth, financial wealth, material wealth, properties wealth, car wealth, every kind of wealth, let it begin to operate in your lives in the name of Jesus. From this day forward, hands you know, hands you do not know, begin to bless you with money. In Jesus' name. The two lady on yellow, come. Yes, yellow, yellow. Yes, two of you, come. You, yellow. No, you know the color of your clothes. Yellow. Yellow. Come. Yes. Okay, lemon. Okay, it's because of light from here, it's yellow. Sweet as sweet. Have you touched 10 million before? Have you touched 10 million before? Father, I decree by this anointing, empower them to handle money millions. Shift her with for me. If I anoint you, don't clean it, just sleep with it. Empower them to touch money in millions. In millions. By this oil, you are empowered to make money in millions. It starts now. It's done. told me to do anything I tell you to do. So when the anointing is upon you, I told you it told you to another man. I told you we experienced restoration. I told you you begin to receive good news. Is that what I said? I told you begin to meet hands. Right people at the right places at the right time. You don't meet useless people anymore. People that will give you nonsense stories. I told you, hands you don't know, and hands you know will begin to help you. God will begin to bless people around you to introduce you to what you never knew. 
Destiny helpers will begin to give you gift. You see yourself, you begin to prophesy, speaking prophetically. And if there be any yoke on you, the yoke, the anointing does what? Destroys it. Once the anointing is on you. Did you get it? Now let me talk about the anointed. Who is the anointed? The anointed is me. The anointed is those people I just pour oil. You remember I pour oil and, and ask the oil to do something. I anoint them and I saw you running. I saw you running into a world this week. That's why I came down. Let the speed of the Holy Ghost bring him. Push you into that connection. <sighs> Is my cloth fine? Overcome my your two. Now my daughter saw me. He said, anywhere you touch, they report. <laughs> She's a bit so. Am I not looking beautiful? Including the one where be like fish for back. I know I wear this type before. <laughs> they work. I carry with the girl for hand. They work. Praise the Lord. Are we together? Now let's talk about the anointed. Number one, the anointed is the carrier of the anointing within. The anointed is the carrier of the anointing within. We saw it in Acts 10 38. It said, How God anointed Jesus Christ with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good. There was an anointing that took place that enabled him to go out doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And God was with him. And who is that God? Was The anointing is the God inside of him. The, the anointing is the spirit of the power of God. The anointing was with him. How to receive from the anointing? How to receive from the anointing through the anointed? How to receive from the anointing? How to receive from the anointing through the who? The anointed. That is the main thing I want to teach you today. Number one, appreciate the anointing in the anointed. Do what? Appreciate the anointing in the who? In the anointed. You must learn to appreciate. You appreciate with gift. You appreciate with words. You appreciate on social media. You appreciate with gift. You appreciate with cash. You appreciate with soul winning. You appreciate by telling others, come and see. I was sharing with them in the prayers what happened in my house on, 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 is it on Sunday. I didn't know when I started crying. I've seen people, people like my lovely daughter May, like uh, Bello. I've seen people who return back to say, Pastor Beverly, thank you. These are people I don't joke with in my life. On their own, they would just stand and cook something for me and just not physical food, just to make my heart sweet. Me and Bello. God will bless two of you. But all my children, I can't count how many children that have married through me. I've never seen that type before. I didn't know when I started crying. I narrated it to you. I think that day you people I was crying like a child. I was crying like a child. The question is, what did I even do for that girl? Nothing. For me, by what I've seen, that God, I, it's nothing. I remember that the life miracle she came out here. I wanted to lay hand on God. said, don't lay hand on her. Tell her to see you. In your house. I said, my house for what? He said, I've told you. I waited. I didn't hear anything. I told her, please shift. She refused to shift. I said, no. And I returned. I said, go. I will communicate with you. See me after service. That's when she agreed to me. I said, God, sir, I should not prefer, you, should, I, you should see me in my house. But I don't know you. She now pointed the sister. I didn't know the sister is in uh, media. Okay, media. Eh? Okay. I didn't know. Because I met her mouth. She said, no, everything has gone this way. A young girl. That's the girl that waited on Saturday. 
that married the army captain. I didn't know. Now you can, can that man, tell me, is there any way that man would have married her with? Some of us are so ungrateful. I'm talking of appreciating what did I say? The anointing in the anointed. And after wedding, he brought the, I think she came to my house that I thought I would pray for her. God said, don't pray for her. Let her sit far from you. I said, what is really going on? As I be obey anything within 10 minutes, sit. He said, stop talking, saying so, so thing. I will begin to untwist her face. I said, huh? He said, yes. And I started telling her as I was talking. I said, be, listen to what I said. Focus, don't allow your heart to go. She was listening. Before our eyes, the mouth, everything returned. He was telling me, he said, mommy, I'm vibrating. I said, leave it. It's the power of God. Be, just be hearing what I'm, the word of God I'm teaching you. The power of God untwist her face to normal. I told her, continue in this thought I have said. All the vibration we cease. And the next Tuesday, she stood here to testify. He said, look at my face. My face has returned to normal. That's all. She married on Saturday. Carry her husband after wedding. My son would tell me, Pastor, baby, bye-bye. When you now enter theater, you're the bone. They pick you no great command. Go, Pastor Beverly. My mother, my mother, my mother, forgive. My mother, you cannot allow me to die here. Carry her husband. Carry a gift of malt. Wine. Great. Money. Uh, what again? Indomie. If I calculate everything that girl gave me, I'm not sure it's up to 40,000. I have it. But gratefulness. Not grateful, no. Gratitude. Immediately they gave me, I started crying like a small child. I can't remember when joy is making me to cry like a small child. The more I'm co- trying to show I'm a big woman, I'm, a, I'm, a comf- I'm comfortable by the grace of God. There is nothing she gave me I don't have upstairs. But I said, so I go die alive, see Peking. Why well, labor for a life? He will come back to tell me thank you. I didn't tell her. She returned on her own. I said, is this why the man returned with a loud voice? Jesus said to him, he said, you are made whole. Only two words came out of my mouth. I declare you and your husband bless. The second word that came out from my say, your voice, your fame, your name will be heard all over the earth. I tried to say another thing. No word. Now they come, they go, hug me, they clean tears from her. I know if he stopped, they cry like small became Tears of joy. I don't know who have showed you kindness you have forgotten. I'm not talking about only pastor. Once you finish using us, it disappear. Once the thing tight, it bounce back. Appreciate. The anointing, when you do that, is the anointing that you are appreciating in the anointed. Did you get me? How to receive from the anointing through the anointed. That's what I'm showing you. Number two, acknowledge the anointing in the anointed. You must learn to acknowledge it. You must learn to consciously acknowledge it. I want to acknowledge my my mother, Pastor Beverly, that is what God used to do in my life. Pastor Beverly, thank you. It's not it's not man honor. You will let us see why it's not man honor. You must learn to acknowledge them. You must learn to acknowledge the anointing in the anointed. Appreciate the anointing. It's not, if it's easy, why didn't you do it all those years? Why didn't you? As I told you in the morning, Jeremy, I just one of my son that he will be flying out of the country. Is that not what I said? 
it was in, and the funniest thing is online son. See these online members, God will bless all of you. You are watching me. I'm greeting all of you. And all the countries where all of you told me, Europe, uh, Australia, America, all the places you put give me light, you are watching me from today. I'm saying thank you to all of you. England, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Your country, if I didn't mention it, I love all of you. Germany, hey! My men people, I hate all of you. I'm coming. You know I'm coming. <laughs> you, they know I'm coming. Already I have programs in, over there. Praise the Lord. So you must learn it. If you want the anointing to work for you. Number three, believe, respect, and value the words of the anointing in the anointed. Believe. Learn to believe what they say to you. A man was testifying here on Sunday. He said, we have two daughters. Is that what she said? Two daughters. For how many years? Six or seven years. That is Giwa's family. Seven years. And Pastor Beverly prophesied to my wife. And told my wife so, so much she will conceive. And it will be a boy. Is that what the man said yesterday? Huh? What are life members? Okay. He testified in church. That he told me, the, that he, she told me, and I didn't know I said the month. I don't even know that they don't have a boy. I just said what I had. And he said, that that month she became pregnant. Is that what the man said? And the wife put to bed. And behold, he said, what? A baby. And I said in that prophecy, once that child is born, what will happen? Doors will naturally open to them. And the man says, second, why people say my testimony never finished? God just gave me a new job. Is that what the man testified here on Sunday? A gainful one. But when I prophesy, it'd be like saying, no go happen. <laughs> now go check. Believe, respect. You see, if I tell you God said, if it didn't come to pass, please listen to me. Remove your clothes. Wear nika. Wear singlet. Close your door and enter fasting. You see that word? It must come to pass. I don't prophesy for entertainment. I don't know how that people... If you notice me, I know they come and say, I prophesy. You know, I don't tweet. But if I just walk up to you and say something, if I call those two people, he told me, Look at those two men. I said, I said the one on white. I thought he has finished. And I said the one I said, shut up, I have not finished. Including the one in the front. I said, to him. That's what they told me. They said, shut up, I have not finished. And I shut up. If you go back to the video, you notice I pause a little. And I said, plus the one I said, bring them out. Anoint them for wealth. And I did. So when you see them dashing me pounds. So believe, respect, and value the words of the anointing in the anointed. Is that okay? Number four. Have serious or full faith in the anointing. What is faith? A trust. This is the greatest sickness of this generation. Churches. I prophesy. Receive word. Tomorrow he is in another fellowship. That one told him receive leg. Next tomorrow he goes to another fellowship. That one prophesy, receive chest. Next one on Friday is in a you don't know which one is which. Every pastor is not your pastor. And the thing you don't know that prophecies are words, words are spirits. He said the words I speak to you are what spirit. So ask God, all these people, which one is my pastor? Is it Jeremiah 3 what? Is it Jeremiah 3 15 or 10? He said, I will give you a pastor after my own heart. I will feed you with knowledge. I said, which one is my pastor? And the one that's your pastor, stay there. Stay there. Is that okay? That is where your word will be coming. So you must have faith, trust on the anointed. Who is anointed? Me. On what I said. Is that okay? Number five. 
Don't speak ill and dishonor the anointed. Feel it smart. Don't speak what? Ill and dishonor the word anointed. Don't speak against them. Aaron and Miriam spoke against them in Numbers 12. What did they get? Lepa. Leprosy. Don't speak again. What? There's one of my daughter here I like so much. It's not because of her position. And I'm happy I taught her that early in the ministry. It's me. If there's anything I did that prepare her, she will come to me. Say, Pastor Beverly, this, this thing you say, no grief. I know if it's sleep, the thing they bother me. And it's hurting me. It's bringing me so many thoughts in my heart. I will not explain myself. Are you getting it? You must learn the ones that cannot digest. God, because the words you speak, the anointing is hearing it. And after you have said those words, you now put your head. And the anointed will say, prophesy, prosper. You know, go pro. Talk us, pa. Because um, the anointed is working on behalf of what the anointing is saying. The anointed is not seeing everything, but the anointing is seeing everything, hearing everything. So there are things the anointed said because of eye service you are doing. Are you getting me? And now bless you. And he didn't say, what you, but she's good. Without knowing that anointing, know that I know go do am. All this is where she they tell you now, I service. This is the, are you getting it now? When you see people around a grace, they are not blessed. They are hypocrites. If you are, if you are pouring water in the hand of any prophet, any pastor you are near, the pastor must not be anointed like, I don't know, like Elisha. I don't know. He mo- it's not, you don't use anything to measure it. As long as you serve that pastor faithfully, I'm telling you, the anointing, whether the pastor appreciates you, the anointing will be appreciating you. One day we are talking, I said to Pastor Mike, you know they get prayer requests. The wife said, leave him. You know they like to talk. Now me they talk for anything. We get problem. You know they like to talk. The man doesn't talk. But God is blessing him. He doesn't look it physically. But one of the most obedient person I've seen is Pastor Mike. If you tell him, you used to say that he said he's senior me. But if you tell him jump with one leg, he will remain like that too. And he, I don't know what he put inside his family. Even if they shout on him, the family, all of them too will, as if that is shouting all of them the same way. None of them is offended. The next minute they are doing that thing better. So the anointing blesses him with that word. Limit. When you see people around the grace, they are not prospering. There's something you are doing against the anointing that the anointed is not aware. So you are giving the anointed a lip service. That's why I will take time to teach you these things. When you stay, I tell you, if you stay around me, you are suffering. There's a truth you've not said. There's a truth about yourself you've not said. Because me, by the grace of God, I don't think there's any dirty life I live. I avoid the more that you want to cancel me because I believe in heaven. Praise the Lord. Is it entry? Don't speak against them. When you speak against them, Judges 9.23 will be for the person. We also saw it in 1 Samuel 16, 14. Give it to me. Judges 9, 23. I'm branding up. Judges 9, 23. You know the Bible? Then God sent a what? Evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And the men of Shechem dead treacherously with who? Abimelech. Tell your neighbor, God, they send evil spirit to. <laughs> we saw it in 1 Samuel 16, 14. For some of you who don't know. And you know one anointing about this thing. It's the anointing that sends these spirits. He, he, maybe the pastor is busy. Pray for, I said one day I was praying for a pastor here. God said stop wasting your time. I said what? And, and the pastor I just I took 30,000 took some things and just gave to the pastor. I said please you people should I don't know I just like to give. So when I came I just hear a voice laughing. 
He said, Satan, I bind you. He said, it's not Satan, me that I love you. You just went to throw away money. The house where they are cooking you is where you went to throw. Your good will not kill you. He said, stop wasting your time praying. For that person, I will teach that person a lesson he will never forget in the heart. I said, I call my husband and read this. I said, my husband, I said, if God says so. I know you, you know they formulate things. If you know here, you know they talk. I leave him now. I said, no, I want to go and see the person. And tell him, what are you seeing the person for? When God has spoken, I went to the person. I begged. Is there anything you are doing against me? He said, no. I said, are you sure? I narrated the story. He said, no, nothing. I said, okay. The prophet said, which day that the spirit of God left me to enter you? I said, I don't know when the spirit of lying now enter me. So my husband said, you still went to go and ask? I said, I don't want the person to go have fire. I don't want the person to suffer that. I've gone. The person said nothing. I came back again. I said, if you like, go and tell the person what I said. I will deal with the person. I will make sure the person labor in vain in all his all the person's children. I said, children, what? Until finally the movie started playing itself. Husband said, Is this not what you told me? So, so time, early last, so, so year. I said, Nothing. I said, said, The film has started. I quickly called the person. I said, Everything you have done, the one you will do and the one you are about to do, I forgive you all of them for the sake of your children. Go. I bless you. Be careful what you say. In 1 Samuel 16 14, God sent an evil spirit to Saul. Be careful of what you do, what? You say, don't speak ill against them. At times, it's not the anointing that will attack you. It's not the anointed that will attack you. But who? Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? There's this, I don't know whether to call it army, but grace I have. I buy into conversation. I can see, some of them, I can see that now, everything you are your host, wife, Jesus, I will narrate it to you. Life. As you pray, at times God will wake me up and say, He will do hand like this. Say, watch, watch, and be listening to what they're saying. I say, Jesus Christ. Before He gave me that grace, He said, Before I will give you this grace, promise me you will forgive no matter what you see and hear. I say, Which grace? Will you, the, 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 the promise is becoming too much. He said, No one telling you. He said, Okay, let me give you an example. He opened the first one. That's the first time I discovered the pastor here those days that was smoking, chewing chingo. That's the first one I caught. I saw him early in the morning going to a bucky place. He was smoking Igbo. I look. I said, no, this cannot be. He said, that's what I said before I give you the grace. Oh, okay. Say her son even saw him and now. Nobody knew. He wake up as early as 6 a.m. Smoke it. Carry tom tom and everything. Spray perfume. And come. I said, see what I saw. Let's be careful. Except God doesn't want to reveal to me. Is that okay? So don't speak it. Number six, let me run. Celebrate. Announce, go extra mile for the anointed with gifts and money if possible. Celebrate them. Announce them. Go extra mile for the anointed with gift, if possible, with money. Celebrate them. When you celebrate the anointed, you know who rewards you? The anointing. The anointing rewards you. Celebrate them. Go to social media. Celebrate them. If you have radio connections, celebrate them. Actually, the person you are celebrating is the anointing. And grace you celebrate. I will tell you the benefit. Number five. Oh, number seven. Obey the anointed. Obey what? If you want to see miracles, obey the anointed. John 5, 2. John chapter 2 verse 5 is a popular scripture. It says, whatever he tell you to do, do it. Obey. You cannot walk with the anointed without obeying them. You know why you must obey them? I gave you an example. 
he was still talking, annoying that man. Over Sabi me, I went to call the man. He said, shut up. Plus the one. Now you can imagine me telling the comment, I said, I know go come out. It's, I'm saying, I'm obeying the voice I'm hearing. They, when they obey me, who are they obeying? The anointed. Are you seeing it? Who will perform what has happened? The anointed. So when you rebel against me, who are you rebelling against? The anointed. He says, Saul, go to Amalekai, key, destroy, spare nothing. Paul, Saul went to collect virgins. Kill everybody but left virgins. Carry all the virgins that came back. The ones he can swagger. He brought them. And Samuel came to him. He said, why did you disobey the voice of God? But read the Bible. When Samuel was giving instruction, he didn't say God. But when he disobeyed, he came back and said, why did you disobey the voice of God? He said, because you rejected the word of God. God has rejected you for being a king. He said, God, what? Now you tell me, go king, huh? He said, actually, it was God talking through me. So when you rebel against them, you rebel against who? God. You rebel against God. I'm doing this because I don't want any of you to suffer, be suffering. You are suffering of Nigeria economy, suffering of river state political power, suffering of uh, Gary that is increasing. Come and suffer again of the anointing. That one is the worst. Because he told me, say, he said, 75% of plague, suffering, hardship you see in the body of Christ. He said, are people that are plagued by the anointing. And the anointed is not aware. Because what you talk about me now, I don't know. You know, show me. It's even better they tell me, I run to you and say, don't do this again. It's better. Did you get it? So avoid it. Did I say obey? Obey. Don't operate in disobedience. So there are things we do to the anointed that makes the day we have need of the anointing. In the anointed, it will not respond. Did you hear what I said? There are things we do to who? That makes so the day we run to the anointing. Anointed. The anointing itself will not respond. That is why you see a pastor we speak a word. 90% of them that didn't come to pass is the anointing that withhold the prophecy. Say it won't come to pass. Let him do his worst. Because of the things we have done. One of those things is despising the anointed. After you don't despise them, you've insulted me. You will not put your head Pastor Beverly. He bless me. It won't work. Any grace you despise cannot work for you. A woman one day came out here and gave testimony and said, uh, I prayed for her. The problem stopped. But after two weeks, the problem came back. So he now went to daddy. Daddy did not pray for him. The problem stopped. Immediately he said, it, the, the Spirit of God said, It's me she has anointed. It's me she has insulted. Don't ever give such testimony. If you go to Pastor Silas, he pray for you. And the thing stop. And you came to Pastor Beverly, pray for you. Don't narrate Pastor Silas. Did you get me? Don't narrate Ibiome. Don't narrate Oyedepo. It's not about them, it's about the anointing. Just stand on. Pastor Beverly prayed for me. And the cancer dry up. Stop there. Do you get me? When you do, what you are telling everybody there, the anointing of Oyedepo is not working. It didn't work for you, but it's working for others. Am I correcting something in your mind? Tomorrow you find yourself in a situation, it's only Oyedepo is there. The anointing will not respond. Let Oyedepo, Papa, Grandpa, let him pray, remove suit, remove, speak. 89 scripture on faith. Nothing will happen. You know why? Already the anointing is grief. Are you getting what I'm teaching you? Don't despise them. Don't do what? Despise. Number two. You don't honor. When you don't honor, appreciate and celebrate them. Every time you are collecting. 
Pray for me, you call her. Receive it, you receive it. You testify, you go. You have never come back one day. There's something my daughter did here, December, that really sweet me. I do it every year. My children, I carry them to my parents. I give gifts to everybody. Give to my parents. If in the year we travel to my husband's place, everybody will hold special gift on his own. Not general, apart from general one, everybody will have some so that my, my husband's mother will lay hand and do what? Bless you for you. So last Christmas, she carried all her children, put something in all of them. So they came. I didn't know that's what is happening. After she gave me, ah, the husband is fond of giving me chicken every Christmas. The brother, I was, in fact, I was hoping for the chicken because I know the chicken must come. So I immediately called, I said, my chicken, before you send it to him, shift out my chicken. She laughed and pulled it. I said, you know, say, so must give you see him. And that's why showing me all the things they brought for me for, to do Christmas for me. But what sweet me in everything she did. The children started coming one after another. Said, Pastor Beverly, I gave you this with an envelope. I gave you this. When I opened it, they asked me how much, how much is in the envelope? Five, five hundred. But pray, I want to pray for those children. Even she because, ah, mommy, you don't pray for the children. Pass away, we give the thing now. I don't know how it came about. That is what Joseph did. He carried his children to who? His father, Jacob. Gave them gift to give to Jacob. And Jacob blessed them. Did Reuben, bring, did Reuben give gift to his children to Jacob? No. Because did Dan do it? No. Did Benjamin do it? No. How many are there? Twelve. Only one out of twelve brought his children with gift to Jacob. And what did Jacob did? He crossed his hand. And that is why they called to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and what's their name? Manasseh and uh, Ephraim. Every other person. Are you learning something? This Christmas. Carry your children. It's to 200 naira. Eh? And two, two packets of indomie. I didn't say cut on if you don't have it. Wrap it and give to your children. Hold it in the hand. Carry it to your parents. Let your both parents, husband side, wife side. If you cannot travel, anything you send through money transfer, say papa, mama, this one, Naruka will give you. This, measure their name. They will begin to pronounce blessing on them. Did you hear what I'm saying? So your children will bless quite they are still, you are still on earth. Somebody said I learned something. So learn to appreciate and celebrate them. Is that okay? Go and tell them thank you. I gave you a story of how I was crying on, on Sunday. Go and say thank you. What you do. It's not only about the anointed, but you are provoking who? The anointed to do more. Number three. Is it taken? That's what I want to teach you. You don't believe in what? Sorry. When you don't believe in what the anointing respect, the anointing cannot work for you. I'm running number four. Any anointing that you have not attended to help. Any anointing you have never attended to, you have never given gift to, you have never shown any kindness to. The day you go to that anointing for help, the anointing rubbish you. They will pray, but nothing will happen. At times, the anointing attacks. That will not be your portion. Any anointing you speak against. I think I've said it to the other side. What does he do? He afflicts. He plagues. He causes pains. Number six. When you don't remember to come back to the anointed to say thanks with substance, money, according to the blessing. Any day you call the anointing, it doesn't respond. You see people, praise the Lord. I came here with paralysis. Pastor Beverly, pray, pray. The paralysis, see, I'm okay. Praise the Lord, the worker they go. I can never pray for any person and collect money. But the Bible said, when you return to give that testimony, carry something and thank God who, who thank you. We you like free thing. And that's what the evil ones, they deal with you now. I know we do our more. I know they collect money for anything. Leave them. I said, they, they, God said, people should sow seed. Is that okay? 
Please, too. Finally, when your money don't service the assignment of the anointing, in the anointing, he cannot respond to you. When your money don't service the assignment of the anointed, in the anointing, he does not respond to you. You ask yourself, in this grace, God, I've used this woman to do this. What is my money serving in this ministry? It's a question you ask. What am I doing? What am I contributing? Am I contributing the social media? Am I contributing? What, where am I contributing? Am I in partnership? Am I paying tithes? What is my money? Am I giving money for this sale? What is my money doing to this grace? You must ask yourself that question. If you do, there's one of my thoughts I ran up with this. It got me troubled. Anytime she have a need and she came to me, anything, everything I say come to pass in her life. So, I say, God, why? I'm happy. What? She will always boast of it. There's nothing you say that doesn't come. She's always saying it. She's not a member here. She's outside. But it be title, partnership, everything. As I'm talking to you, she's watching me from her office. One day, I ask myself, why? Because since I've known your pastor for almost six or seven years, the same testimony, the Spirit of God said, because she, they honor you like mad. I said, really? I say yes. And I do everything. She was still on her own. On her own, not title, not partnership. She just said, I don't feel like to touch this thing to you. Just enjoy it. She like, she let me use, she likes spoiling me. She now even introduced her husband into it. Two of them are spoiling me alike. They're not member here. At times I would just say like this, boom, 150 in my account. I said, What is it? He said, Just enjoy your life. And I discover any issue, they, and they always come in with deadly cases. So, from the family side, as long as I say a word, God honors it. So, it got me thinking. God said, Because they respect your grace. You can't make the anointed heart sweet, and your life will be bitter. Did you get what I taught you today? You have seen the difference between the anointing. And anointed. There are things you do to the anointed. And there are things you do to the anointed. When you do them, it spoil your blessing. It does what? It spoil your blessing. Say, I'm not driving cow. Me and my husband, we are not that rich. It's not how rich you are. It's not how rich you are. I gave a testimony that happened here last, last year. About during pastor's appreciation, end of the that is the end of year Thanksgiving. I t- I was talking. I said, some of you, some of this pastor work with me. I raise something and give to them. See, even if it's Maggie and the rest, she she will be begging me, mommy, please don't call my name, don't call my name. And she truly went to carry Royco, no, tie it according to the pastor's name. Did what I say, indomie, spaghetti, one one. According to what she can afford. Why we're here that day waiting to present it. God opened the door she has been praying for since a year and opened it here. She ran back. She called somebody, write something on paper to give to me. Say, please, I'm rushing back. This is what brought me to this ministry. This is God have just done it. As I'm talking, they have paid half of the money for me to start. She rushed back again outside. Chatter cartons. I came back. He said, this is the small, small one I've tied in the house. I'm not giving them again. I will share, I've given them to me. They let them contribute the ones they are sharing to people outside. Are you hearing me? I want to say thank you for coming here to honor me. Today's service is to celebrate the grace of God in my life. If you are sick, 
get up. Any kind of sickness, get up. My heart is sweet. Any kind of sickness, get up. 